Disclaimer, the following video you're about to watch may contain mature language, personal opinions, bad grammar, as well as Spanish. Anyone sensitive to these matters are recommended to turn away now. With that in mind, I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome everyone to part 5 of Spyro the Dragon Reignited Trilogy. I am Red Eye Skull. And today we will go through. All right, be bored on me, Spyro. I don't care. Hey, Sparks. Anyway, we tonight we'll be going over Night Flight. Now, normally for first-time players, this would be your first flight zone level. But there was another one that we had missed back All right. And this is basically all there is to it. Just follow the rings, the chests and that's basically it. It's just one of these kind of do everything in a certain order level. And you'll be able to tell from what's the most obvious. So we've done the chests, we've done those. Now we'll go for the Oh. Something I forgot to mention. You touch the you touch the floor or the water and you have to restart. But as you see, we got all the chests, so we get 60 gems. We did all the rings, so we get 60 gems. You do all in one, you get the same amount. Or something similar. So we try that. Again. And right off the back, the rings are the first things we see. So we do said rings. Straight after that, chests. Once again. Now there's a flight level in each world. Oh, missed that one. And as you see, we have a bit of a timer, so missing that might be very crucial. Alright, now we go to the gates. Then again, it could have been the uh, lighthouses. Ooh, very much pressed for time. Okay, so we got the right order. No, we gotta start over. Oh, oh, come on. Nope. So that costed us there. So we'll do that one more time. But yeah, that's just the gist of it. We were already three quarters of the way done. and get this one now properly. There we go. And there we go. Now we go the electric gates. Whoa! Up, up, up. No. Oh, dear. Now, you can't speed yourself up. It's, it's just as is... Click X to flap and gain greater altitude. That's about it. Okay. Oh, this is going to be tight. Come on. Come on. Oh. Sorry, folks. I'm usually a lot better at this. Oh, well. Yeah, it takes a few tries, but it's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. It's a nice little break from uh, 
Ah, again, I keep cr I crashed into that. It's a nice little break from just uh, exploring the world. Just a little bit of fun. There we go. Oop. There we go. Okay. Let's, let's not mess up this time. Ooh, that was close. Ah! Did not see that! No! Oh dear. Welcome to Spyro Cannot Fly Edition. <laughs> That was my bad. I didn't see the tip of the house for some reason. Oop. Okay. But yeah. Alright. Now dodge that. Hmm. Huh. Alright, like the Ow. Come on, I can do this. One more. There you go. Uh, apologies. Apologies that it took a while, but that's that's that done. That's that level completed. It's primarily just for gems and just a bit of just like fly at a linear specific course. It's not. It sometimes it's not as apparent what you need to follow first. But, you know, just give it a couple of tries. It's not that difficult, despite how much I was struggling there. Now, we shall return to the Artisan Lands. Because, well, since I'm going over these, uh, these flight trials, there is one thing that was missed. And for first time players that can that can easily be the case. Later down the line you will find a dragon that makes you a little bit more aware of said th of this. But basically, all you gotta do jump here, jump here, jump here, jump here, and Ta-da! We have Sunny Flight. Now I just wanted to show off the first flight level in Peacekeepers because that's generally the one that people start out with, so it's typically easier. This one is one of the later harder ones cons um, since it's revealed in game a little bit later on. So as you can see, you see trains. So, okay, I messed that one up. Whoop. Okay, let me just die. Okay, I royally messed that up. <laughs> Alright, bottom line is... You set this on fire. And... I typically like to go backwards. Uh, flying's faster. In the later games, you can actually supercharge. We go. Two more planes. All right. 
right. So I'm just going through a random order. See if that works. You're typically supposed to go behind the train and uh, chase it. But I like to go the opposite direction. Yeah, but clearly I've messed up because I'm I'm at this section now, which should be the last section. Oh well. Now here is when you're like, yeah, you completed it, but since I messed up a little bit, should have enough time. Final one. There we go. Oddly enough, you I, I get one of the harder ones done easier than. Well, that's that's it essentially. Those are the two flight levels. Didn't take us that long, and as you can see, if you get a hang of it, you could. You can make your own little shortcuts, which is probably what I ended up doing with this one. Regardless. We shall tackle these guys. So we go back with the balloonist. And since we already have the opportunity to go to the magic crafters, we shall. We have completed everything in peacekeepers, as far as I'm aware, and now fully the artisan lands. So now we are going to go to our third hub worlds. Magic crafters. Takes a bit, but I believe it was a, roughly the same in the original as well. Enti in loading in an entire world. But in this one, all the dragons you'll find are... Well, they have a little magic motif to them. And as you can hear, our enemy... Die! Oh, I got him. Usually you can. Usually you have to uh, do some trickery, but... Nice. Don't have to worry about you. Where am I? Okay. These little witches and wizards. Now this guy... Oh. Um, for a... Hang on. Yeah, for a trophy, I believe what you're supposed to do is see these four in a line? Just charge through them. And that should be your trophy. I could be misremembering it, and you may have to use a supercharge to hit all four of them instead. Or four in a row anyway, like in quick succession. But I could be remembering that wrong, and that, that might be all you need to do. Now this is one of the dragons I am not too fond of, not because of design, but personality-wise. This is Cosmos. Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. Yes, I was kind of already doing that, sir. Yeah, see, he's a bit pompous in certain degrees gimmick here will be that these wizards and witches can use magic to make the environment a bit more problematic for you. So a green wizard just raised the earth and is laughing at us. And you cannot burn the little ones. You have to, have to charge them. Now, 
Now, Alpine Ridge might be the first level we'll go to after we've cleared out the hub world of magic crafters. And another thief! You get back here. He only goes into a circle, which is why... Whoa! Get back here. It's really difficult to catch. No, hang on. I got a plan. Ow! That wasn't the plan! Ouch. Yeah, water really hurts you. Sparks, dinner time. And you're too slow to catch this guy, unfortunately. But here we get introduced to a little new mechanic. But first, we shall get a little bit of an introduction with Xantor. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go ahead. Try it. Do love these dragons and their magic motif. But yeah, just like he says, supercharge, which means you're too quick for this guy. And if used correctly, well, you can hit. Okay, that wasn't correctly. Get back here. Normally, I could run him over with that. Oh, well. Maybe if I... There we go. See, that's what you're supposed to do. Not what I did. <laughs> uh, at first. Now, if I remember, I can also... Oh, nope. Too soon. Nope. Oh, there we go. Another ravine that essentially marks your demise. I should not have slowed down. I hesitated there. Oh well, there's another life lost. But it's alright, because... There we go. And here, we require a key. So, never mind that. Now we're going to use the supercharge again because I believe you can do something further along. So let's do that. Yeah, this thing. And these are like thunder mages or something like that. So you want to get rid of those too. Wizard peak. Nice. Alright, alright. Everything's going smoothly. A few, a few stupidities. And there's the key. But overall, I... You know, I've only lost a life, you know. <laughs> How many do I have? 29. Not bad. Oh, there's another green mage. Or wizard. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Now we probably already have enough for the balloonist. For recovering so many of our dragon eggs. Oh, I see. So this one had a dragon egg requirement then. Hop aboard for the beast maker's world if you're ready. Would you like to go? Nope, I'd stay here because I just got here. Okay, so there's a dragon egg request in this one. I see. I usually complete every world before I even approach the balloonist, so There we go. Get all the gems and release Boldar. This portal leads to a special place. Love the gem on his head. Oh, crystal. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. 
Uh, he's got like a chemistry set thing as well, like alchemy or something. That's that's a really nice touch. It's not just magic, it's alchemy and all that. Okay, I think I got everything. Uh, let's use this boost once more. Get a zap to get a save in my progress before I even jump. And there we go, that's that's the level completed. I'll do some backtracking. But yeah, that was the hub world. Ah! I am not- Ah! And as you can see, if you look back from where we started, you see the balloon is just there as well. I do not recommend flying this gap. But yeah. Okay, so a lot of hazards in this world for sure. Alright. And Alright, so I'll leave that here. And in the next part, part 6 I believe, we shall go to Alpine Ridge. Until then, hope you've all enjoyed and have a wonderful day, night or evening, wherever you live. Ciao.